Welcome to the fourth episode of Careers in Science. The purpose of this interview series is to hear from college students and professionals in various fields of science and learn about their path to getting where they are now. We are hoping that this will help your exploration in various fields of science. My name is Anisha Kumar and I'll be hosting this interview session. Today we'll be speaking with Maya Ramurthy. Maya graduated from Carnegie Mellon School of Computer Science in 2017. She has since been working at Waymo, Google's self-driving car project, and as a professional Bharatanatyam dancer. She's passionate about emp empowering those who don't have a voice, supporting survivors of sexual violence, and ending the stigma around mental health. In her free time, she enjoys playing the drums, rapping, and cooking. Welcome, Maya, and thank you so much for doing this interview with us. I am so excited to speak with you and hear about your experiences. Thank you for having me, Anisha. So to begin with, can you please um, just give us a little bit more um, information about your job and what you do? Maybe give us a little day in the life. Yeah, of course. Um, so I work on the motion planning team at Waymo, uh, Google self-driving cars. So what that means is, um, let's say you want to get um, from your house to work um, in a self-driving car. So given everything that the car can see around it, we call this perception. Uh, what it thinks the things around it are going to do, prediction. What should the car do next? So I work on the what should the car do next part. Okay, that's really cool. Um, so how does it, what does it look like for you? Like if you, when you go to work, like what are the types of things that you basically do in the, in the workplace? Yeah, so I'm a software engineer. Um, so what I do is uh, coding, thinking about um, these kind of problems. I like math a lot, so a lot of the problems I work on are mathematical in nature um, and reasoning about problems around self-driving cars. And what motivates you to keep going when you're doing your job? Like, what's that like part where you're like, this is why I chose this profession? Yeah, so um, I'm motivated by, I think, two big things. Uh, one is I really enjoy problem solving. I really enjoy I really enjoy problem solving. I really enjoy creativity, whether that's in mathematics or whether that's in dance. Um, and I also really want to make a difference in this world, and I want to work on something that's impactful and is important is important to move the world forward. Um, and I think it's an important consideration when working on technology because I think a lot of technology, it's not completely certain whether that technology is going to make the world a better place or a worse place. And I think self-driving cars is an important problem. Okay, and what are the skills that are required to be a computer scientist? What characteristic traits do you think are like really important? Um, so I don't know if uh, there are certain characteristic traits that are more important than others. I think what is important is an interest, um, is an interest and um, I think what's the most important is that you like what you're doing. Um, and I think that I was fortunate enough to be able to get into this because I had the resources. Um, so I think it's an interest and having the resources available is I think what allows one to become good at any profession computer science included. Okay, great. And how is the process like for you when you were applying jobs straight, applying for jobs straight out of college? How is that like for you? Um, yeah, so as I said, I was interested in working on problems that I thought would make an impact and I thought self-driving cars was an important problem. So I applied to various self-driving car companies and I decided to join Waymo out of all the different self-driving car companies. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to rewind back to your school days. So what was your favorite subject in school? In high school or college? High school. Mm -hmm. uh, in high school, I'm not, I'm not sure if I had a favorite subject. I enjoyed all my subjects. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the creativity of English. I enjoyed I think it's important to learn about what's going on in the world, and I enjoyed that in social studies. Um, I I really enjoyed my physics classes because it was a lot of problem solving and uh, figuring out why the world works the way it does. And um, I think that's what really excited me about science. Um, I enjoyed math, but I realized um, 
I think I really only got to see the problem solving and creative aspect of math only when I went to college because um, I think a lot of the math we do in middle school and high school and uh, before college um, can be like very formulaic. Um, and in college, I was introduced to, I guess, like proof-based math and uh, thinking about things in a very creative way. And that's what made me fall in love with math. That's awesome. Um, so did you take computer science in high school? And did this influence your decision to become a computer scientist later on? Um, actually, no. Uh, we didn't have a computer science class in our high school. Um, I was fortunate, though, to be a part of uh, various robotics efforts. So when I was in middle school, I was a part of uh, First Lego Week. Um, which later grew into first tech challenge. So it's uh, these robotics competitions. And I think that's what introduced me to robotics. And later on in high school, our high school had this program called science research. And uh, you could uh, pair up with a professor at a university and work on a research problem. And I happened to work on a robotics problem, actually in motion planning. And that's what uh, drew me to robotics and made me excited about it. Um, but I think it was only a small taste of it, and there are many, many different aspects to a field. Um, so I I'm really fortunate that the taste that I got was something that was really exciting. Okay, that's great. Um, did you ever consider any other areas of study? Was it when you were choosing what you wanted to do, was this difficult for you, or did you just know? Um, I'm not sure if I... I'm. I'm not sure if I still know or ever will know. I mean, I'm just driven by what I find exciting and what I find meaningful and important. Uh, right now, what I enjoy and what I have been enjoying is uh, is computer science, mathematical thinking. Um, I really enjoy dance a lot, and I really enjoy uh, making an impact in the world around me. And so I think that's why I spend my time the way I do. I, uh, I spend I think a lot of I spend a lot of my time on my work uh, on my job in Waymo. I spend a lot of time on dance, and um, I've been uh, working on this nonprofit around mental health, and uh, been working on other efforts that I feel like are important uh, towards, I guess, like social justice, whether that's racial justice or justice in different ways, and making the world a better place. So, um, and I am sure that this will evolve as the world grows. I'll see what what are the needs around me and what I continue to enjoy. Okay, and um, so there are uh, lots of options in high school. There are clubs, competitions, sports, a lot of things. So what are the experiences and the programs that helped you the most? I think that uh, most of the activities I did were centered around um, the arts. Mm -hmm. So uh, I played the flute, I still play the flute, and um, I played the Mridangam, that's the Indian drums, uh, and I dance, and um, I studied Sanskritam, uh, it's an ancient uh, Indian language, kind of as Latin is to all Western languages, Sanskrit is to a lot of Indian languages, and uh, these are all activities that I really enjoyed, and have actually been very helpful for my dance career. Um, but I didn't do it because it would get me into college, or <laughs> because it would be helpful for a career. I I mean, when I play mridangam or when I dance or uh, when I play an instrument, it um, it makes me so happy and that's why I do it. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Um, so how was your uh, college experience at Carnegie Mellon? It was an amazing experience. I learned a lot. Um, I learned a lot from uh, both about myself and about computer science. I think uh, I am really thankful for the education I got there. And so now I kind of want to um, maybe ask some questions that like students that are currently struggling um, with like choosing what they want to do um, might ask. So one of the things is what do you recommend if someone is really like confused about what they would like to do in the future? What are the steps or what are the things that you would recommend um, they do to test or figure out what they would like to do? 
I would say try out as many things as possible and don't be dissuaded if you don't like something the first time because as I was saying before, there are many different aspects to what one does. For example, what I worked on in middle school with First Tech Challenge um, versus my science research project, it was very different. Um, like the kind of work I did, my science research project versus what I did in college versus what I do at work right now. They're all very, very different. Um, and so if I if I decided I didn't like one of them and then um, decided that I didn't like the entire field, that would have been a bit unfortunate. For example, I didn't actually like my intro to robotics class, um, but I fortunately had gotten um, uh, information and had learned about robotics through other methods, through research, um, through uh, my other robotics experiences. And so I knew that I did it really enjoy aspects of it and there were things I really liked even if I didn't like this one class in particular. So I would say um, on one end, don't be dissuaded by um, like if you don't like a particular aspect, that doesn't mean you'll never like the field. Um, the other thing is don't feel pressure to go into a certain field um, just because uh, one's parents tell one to do that. I'm really fortunate that my parents never really forced me to do one thing or the other. They were just kind of like, do what you want to do. <laughs> and, um, but um, I've seen a lot of my friends' parents uh, do that. And so, I mean, I think one should really introspect and think about like, what do they enjoy? Try out as many things as possible. There's some internships I like, some I didn't like, and everything is a learning process. And it's okay if you don't like something. And it's okay if you don't know, because, um, I, I'm still learning. My parents are still learning. My grandma still tells me she's still learning and she's 90. So <laughs> I think, I think life is just a learning and growing process and nobody's ever completely certain and knows exactly what they're doing. So it's okay. You don't have to figure out everything in high school. You don't have to figure out everything in college or really ever just do whatever you enjoy. Um, and yeah, that's what I, that's what I would say. Okay, thank you. And so high schoolers are also increasingly getting competitive and they face a lot of stressful situations, whether it be testing or competition among their peers. And sometimes they really don't know how to handle that stress. So how would you yeah. recommend that they manage this? Yeah, I would say that, um, as I said, mental health is something I'm really passionate about. And if I could tell my high school self something, I would tell myself, do less and focus more on your health, mental and physical. Your health is more important than anything. Your health is more important than this competition. I feel like a lot of people in um, maybe middle school and high school get into this mindset that, oh, I have to do these things and I have to one up everybody and everybody's my competition because the end goal is college. And then you get to college and then what, right? When does this competition ever end? Um, so thinking about things in a competitive mindset isn't really healthy um, and is not really going to help anyone in the long term. In fact, I think it actually causes problems down the line mental health wise. So I would say that um, focusing on one's mental health is really important and focusing on what one truly enjoys. I mean, get sleep. Sleep is really important. Get sleep every day. Don't feel like you have to spread yourself thin between a million activities. It's okay if you mess up a test sometimes. And yeah, it's college is not the end goal. And so like, it's not worth sprinting to college because that could burn one out and hurt somebody, hurt one long-term. And um, anxiety is real. Um, like anxiety is real and it's not something that somebody just, uh, anxiety, depression, um, like if one is feeling that, uh, is, if one is feeling like that they're uh, feeling like excessively stressed or maybe they're crying a lot or feeling sad a lot of the time, I mean, so many people go through that um, and it's okay to get help and it's okay to ask for help and that doesn't make one any less weak, just like we would for a physical illness, right? Like if you broke your hand, you would go to the doctor. Um, same if your if your mind is hurting and if you're hurting on the inside, it's okay to get help. So I would say, I I would say it's like if one is dealing with these issues, then uh, it's a great idea to get therapy or to talk to other people or get the resources that they need.
Okay. And so what activities or things would you recommend students do to take a break from work if they're, because sometimes people think that they have to just sit down and do everything in one stretch. So what are the types of things you'd recommend they do to take that break? Yeah. Think about the things that they really enjoy doing. For me, um, I love dance. Um, I, dance is, um, I mean, even from just like a physical like aspect, uh, working out is, I think, a really healthy activity. It lets out endorphins. It makes it brings one to a healthy place, and um, it's also great for the body. So um, I really enjoy working out. I really enjoy dance. I really enjoy cooking, and um, I enjoy talking to my friends, <laughs> right? Uh, just like any other person, I think uh, per uh, people should spend time to take intentional breaks. It's okay to take intentional breaks and spend time doing something you truly enjoy. Yeah. Okay, great. And so given where you are now, what advice would you give to a younger you? I know you touched upon this a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think what I was saying earlier, the advice I would give to my younger self was there's no need to do a million activities. Um, focus, on your, focus on your mental health. Sleep eight hours a day. Um, eat your meals. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I would tell myself that it's, there's so much more than just like the next step ahead, right? We have this whole life to, life ahead and it's okay if we are uncertain or don't know everything in the moment. Um, and yeah, and that it's, it's okay to find enjoyment in this uncertainty. Like for example, right now I love dance um, and I love computer science. I love the drums. <laughs> there's a, I love um, working on things that will make the world a better place. I mean, there's a lot of things I love and maybe I, it's okay, like trying to figure out where you want to be in that space. Sometimes I spend more time on one thing than the other. And it's okay to not really have that decision as to exactly what you want to choose. That's okay. Just follow your, follow what you enjoy doing. And if you don't know what you enjoy doing, that's also completely okay. It's okay to explore and learn. Okay, thank you so much, Maya. Thank you so much for sharing all your, um, sharing your journey and your tips with us. I, sure that whoever's watching will really learn something and um yeah thank you so much thanks anisha